it was last, it's either last week or the week before last, um, the attorney representing the U United States um, Census Bureau said in court that the state level data, that's the data, they call it the, the apportionment data, which is the data they use to decide how many congressional districts are allocated to each state, will not be ready until at least March the 9th. That data normally arrives on December 31 by statute or before. And so that data is now delayed. What is that? Uh, 30, 59, 59, and nine, uh, 68 days. Um, and the data that they provide to Virginia to, to do our redistricting is normally provided on an expedited basis, but they can't get to that data until they first figure out how many people we have in Virginia overall. <laughs> so given that the state level data is delayed 69 days, Normally, the data we use to draw comes in like mid-February. If that's delayed 68 days, that means we're not going to have the data to draw districts until mid-April. And um, when I talked with um, Senator Barker, who's one of our two appointees on the um, commission, he said that they needed the data by April the 1st in order to be able to get districts drawn in time to have a primary in August for the House of Delegates. And so it's becoming, I think, pretty clear we're not having the House of Delegates are probably not running in new districts this year. And typically when that happens, the courts typically order another set of elections in order to, um, uh, in order to uh, re remediate what is basically an unconstitutional situation because you have people that are being unconstitutionally represented because it's not one man, one vote or whatever. And so they might be running like three years in a row. Uh, they might be running this year, next year, and the year after that this year in the old districts, next year in the new districts, and the year after that in the new districts. But So that's kind of what it's looking like right now. We're probably going to have June primaries for the statewide offices and the House of Delegates, and then the House of Delegates has to run with the congressional officials next year. That's that's where I think it's probably headed. I think that's a pretty good prediction. 